What's up guys? Welcome to your 82nd Android tutorial. And what I want to quickly show you guys is I added some buttons as you can see here in our linear layout right before our slider drawer. And we're going to click this and now we're going to open our handle. But as you can see it, it just stops right here um, because you know for linear layout that's all the available uh, height that we have. Um, but basically a way that we can surpass that is using something called the frame layout and that's what this tutorial is going to be about just so again you guys can be a little more customized in your application we still want our handle to go all the way up and we can achieve that by setting up a frame layout so what we're going to do is we're actually going to cut this closing statement of our uh, linear layout I know you guys probably don't have that yet but I'm I'm positive you guys can set something up like this just set up four buttons and a linear layout here. And we're just going to paste that right here. So we still have a linear layout for our buttons, which has vertical orientation. So our four buttons are there. But now what we're going to do, we're going to copy this beginning statement here and paste a new kind of a, a new class, or I'm sorry, just a, a new layout above this layout here. And what we're going to have this layout be is something called a frame layout, like that. And the frame layout, there's no orientation. And basically, the frame layout is going to allow us to draw on top of each other. Like, you know, linear layouts, like, hey guys, let's get organized. Either you get below him or get to the right side. You know, guys, come on, come on, stay in line here. And frame lurks like, screw that crap! Like, stand on top of each other, you know, I don't care if you guys kick each other. Everyone do whatever they want. Who gives a f Uh, he's like, who, you know, guys, whatever. Just do whatever you want. So, uh, that's, that's what we're gonna set up here to encompass our whole class. And then we just have to close off our frame layout here below our sliding drawer. Um, so now when we run our application, it's going to get buck wild. So um, basically what's happening now again, our linear layout still controls all of our buttons, but that's still within our frame layout where it's like, hey, who, who really cares what you guys do? Um, so as you guys see when we run this now, open our slider class, we can go way beyond where we could before and slide it still all the way up because the framework or the frame layout just really doesn't care like I said and then we can still click our check button and obviously like we this isn't the best kind of a, a linear layout but I don't want to spend too much time on some mundane things but as you can see we can still click these previous buttons here um, so you know it's that's not probably the best choice when you guys have a, a drawer like this, a sliding drawer. But, you know, that's fine. I just wanted to show you guys what the frame layout could do for you. And, uh, you know, you can develop that way as well. And if we didn't have this linear layout here, basically, um, all four of these buttons would just p compile on top of each other. Because, again, the frame layout doesn't even care. Um, so that, that's pretty much the end of this tutorial, just to introduce you guys to the frame layout and uh, get you going with that. And then the next tutorial we're just going to quickly just code um, that drawer and I'm going to show you some of the methods that you can use. But uh, here we go. This again was with, um, I took out the linear layout and I, render, or I, I started the application. We have four of our buttons right on top of each other there because we're in the frame layout. Uh, there's no organization we can still slide up but that's why we had that linear layout controlling those four buttons there so I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial peace